At the top tonight, Beaumont police are asking for the public's help to find a suspect in a triple shooting that left one man dead last night. Tonight, Beaumont police have arrested one man accused of shooting and killing a store clerk. Police are searching for another suspect tonight. We're learning the store clerk shot and killed was a Lamar University student. First tonight, a Polk County Sheriff's employee is accused of using inmate funds for her personal use. 38 year old Jessica David was arrested following a Texas Ranger investigation. The agency says David misappropriated inmate funds for approximately three years for a personal use. A family needs your help tonight to find one of their missing loved ones. Margaret K. Alana Turner, age 27, is from Beaumont, but was last seen in Harris County. Confirmed tornado left this behind. What used to be the home of Carla King, what she called home for 20 years, you can see it did a lot of damage. Half of the roof is gone. The half of the house is blown off. There used to be a shed back here that is now all over the yard, trees broken. You can even see that the power line that pull got pulled down. There's actually workers out here right now working on it. And this is where a lot of the damage took place. This was just one spot, but it took place all over the neighborhood. This just took the worst of it. Well, Petrina, it's an emotional scene out here. Family and friends have actually come out here where at least about 20 people are now here, kind of standing around the house and you're getting people trying to find out what's going on, find out what's going on. Beaumont police told us that a young man was shot sometime this morning, and that's when they arrived on scene around a little after 9 o'clock this morning. Now, I'm going to move out of the way here and kind of show you the scene that we're seeing of the home investigators are still in. They've been here since we got here active. Um, we've seen a lot of things happen. We've seen a canine dog. We've seen a perimeter set up and just a lot of emotional family and friends. Well, Aaron, when I talked to Chief Herrera, he believes that that could be a possibility that started this fire, but he said he could not confirm it at this time. Now, let me just move out the way like I did at five and kind of show you what the scene looks like now. Firefighters are still fighting this fire. I mean, it seems like every time they put it out, another fire in another part of the home restarts. A little bit more kind of what we're seeing here is now you can see this car. This will be that single lane that we're talking about. And it seems like some drivers still having trouble speaking about And now that inside lane that you see me in now, this will now be the bike lane. And I know some residents had concerns about they used to park their car in that lane. Well, talking to city councilman Chris Durio, he said you will still be able to park your car in that lane. And so the street I stand on right, right now, Fonville Avenue, residents tell me they used to be able to sit on their porches and be able to do things in the neighborhood, but that is no more. And not just because the drive-by shooting that happened Saturday, they tell me this is more, this has happened more than one time. So now I'm gonna show you some of the bullet holes that are in the home that was hit on Fonville Avenue. If you wanna take a look, we counted almost 17, about 17 when we came out here this morning. Actually, I hold that probable cause affidavit in my hands right now. And let me read you some of those disturbing details that they found out that Baby Shaw was suffering from. So specifically, he was suffering from some dural brain hemorrhages, several bilateral detached retinas, and severe retinal hemorrhage, and a number of bone fractures located throughout his body. Aaron, that's right, I'm trying that one. Actually, if you could ask Kim, I've gotten a little better since I'm doing this on the five o'clock show. I'm still trying to work on the braking a little bit, but you know, safety, safety first as always. As summer is coming to an end and we're putting our beach bodies away, we came to Crystal Beach to check in with some businesses and some beach goers to see how summer really went. I have kisses. Oh, I love you. Christy Reyes now depends on her furry best friend to get through some of the toughest years yes. of her life. He's my gentle giant, yes. She got her dog after her 21-year-old son, Alex Reyes, committed suicide in 2018. And I got a text message on my phone that said, um, Mom, please forgive me. I love you. Please take care of my dog. Christy immediately ran over to her son's Alex home, where she found him standing in the kitchen with a gun to his head. And I hollered his name and he pulled the trigger and as he was going down, I caught him in my arms and um, he actually died in my arms. Alex's so, suicide sent Christy into a deep depression. I turned to alcohol really, really bad. Um, and that's, that's where my life went. It went to sitting on a barroom stool drinking every day. But that wasn't the bottom for her. I'd been in and out of the mental institution 
uh, four times because I tried to commit suicide myself because I couldn't deal with it. Whenever everything had happened, I got diagnosed with PTSD and that's how I ended up with my big boy behind us. <laughs> Using suicide is a cry for help, like all behaviors. Mental health counselor Marlon Williams says there are things loved ones need to look for. Someone is suffering mentally. You're not doing the things you used to do. You're not communicating. You're acting a little strange. And, she just and something changed for Christy five years after her son's suicide and her own suicide attempts. It was like, you know, my kids and my grandkids, you know, I don't want to put this on, you know, them. You know, if something happens to me, they're going to be in the same boat they are with their brother. Now, Christy has been sober for a year and has started the proper grieving process, but she wants those suffering to get the help they need. You get there and you think that that's your only way out. I, I wouldn't want that for for any mm -hmm. anybody. Reporting in Jefferson County, Mellow Styles.